Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm St. R. Edwards. Welcome back to Swift Coding for Everyone. We're going to continue on in our project where we are building the personality quiz. So in this lesson, we are going to build our questions view controller up. And um, uh, the first thing I need to do is we need to go back to our results view controller. And on the second label, the smaller uh, label uh, to the bottom, so what we're going to do is we're going we're going to change uh, the attributes and the attributes inspector the lines from one to zero so it can expand, and then over here where it says um, a line break where it says truncate tail we're going to hit the drop down arrow and we want to select word wrap word wrap. <laughs> All right, and so we've got that done. All right, now on to the next. So for the first question, so say for instance. Uh, remember I said in the beginning lesson, in the first lesson, we are going to have three different types of questions. So the first type of question is going to be a single answer. So we can have a question such as uh, which of the following is your favorite food or what do you like the most? What food do you like the most? So that tells us that it will be a single answer. So we're going to start doing that right now. So over in the objects library, you can search for a vertical stack view and just drag that out to your second view controller and we're going to add some buttons to it so I got that there start typing some buttons our button and then I'm going to add one here and what I like to do is I like to duplicate this button uh, from the document outline so I'm going to select the button and just like before, I'm going to hold option, drag below it, release from the mouse first, and then release from the option button second. Do the same thing until we get four of them. All right. I just find that easier sometimes. So we've got four buttons in the stack view. All right. And so I'm going to select this stack view and I'm going to rename it real quick. So I was just going to say, I'll say single um, answer stack view all right and so we've got that and um, what I want to do is with it highlighted uh, we are going to set some constraints to it so we want to make sure that the alignment is vertical or the axis is vertical the alignment is filled the distribution is filled that's fine and what we want to do is make sure the spacing is 20 and we'll hit enter there and we are going to uh, vertically center in the container select that box at one constraint and then we're going to set um, a leading edge on it and so we are going to hit our constraints button and make sure you select the view not the safe area um, and this will be uh, zero all right and then we're just going to go add constraint all right and now that's set up all right, and so basically our single um, answer uh, type of question is already is done as far as that goes. All right, and so now we want to add our multiple choice view. And so what we're gonna do now is with the stack view, the single answer stack view highlighted uh, and selected over in your documents outline or from uh, the view itself, make sure it's highlighted. And the attributes inspector at the very bottom down here, you see this box that says install. We want to uncheck that button. So now it disappears. So now we can keep building up on our different um, question types uh, with all using the same view, same view controller. All right. And so that's what we're going to do. So now we're going to um, add a few or add a label and a switch to our view. So I added the label, now I'm typing in switch. And so this type of answer would be, um, which of the following foods do you like? Uh, it'll be that, that type of question, all right? And so I'm going to highlight these two, and I'm going to hit embed in stack view. And so we're gonna keep it at horizontal and uh, for the axis and alignment and distribution can remain at fill. And so for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, with that still highlighted, we're going to do that three more times. So we're going to say Control or Command C, and then click somewhere else and do Command V, 
and then somewhere else and then command V and then click another place and then hit command V so now we have four of them all right and so now with those four selected I'm just going to drag a little box around them all to select them all and I'm going to embed that into another stack view so I'm going to hit the stack view button here again or stack embed and stack and we want the vertical axis that's fine and we want um, the alignment to be fill and distribution to be fill and we can do the spacing for this one to be 20 and I'm going to hit enter and what I want to do now is I want to uh, we want to go down to the align button vertically center this in the container and what we want to do, uh, the, the next thing we want to do for this one is I'm going to open this up. I'm, I'm going to expand this one and I'm also going to change this name to uh, multiple answer stack view. And hit enter. And so we want to add a button to the end of this so we can submit our answer, our answers, I should say. And so. I'm going to drag a button from here and I'm going to do it in the um, since we have since we have multiple um, uh, stack views in this one uh, I like doing this from the document outline as well so I'm going to drag it over to the document outline and this is kind of finicky so you gotta make sure that it's not going to be um, a part of a different stack view like of, of one of the minor stack views so you wanted to go uh, to the parent and so I'm going to release it right here because it looks like it's lined up uh, under the same hierarchy. And the way you can tell is if you were to hit this carrot to uh, minimize it, it should go under it. All right, good. Okay, cool. And then also on the view itself, you can see that it's at the bottom um, like it should be. All right, so I'm going to select the whole stack view again. And we did the distribution or the spacing to 20, which is fine. And now we want to just set the uh, the leading and trailing edges to zero. Make sure you change it from safe area to view. Uh, so we'll put zero there, highlight that, and then we'll put view, and then we'll put zero there again, and we'll hit add to constraints, and bam, that's good. And then for the button, for the button's title, we're just gonna hit, say submit button, submit answer, I should say. Hit enter, all right. Now the same thing with the multiple answer stack view selected over in the attributes inspector, uh, uncheck the install button. And now we're going to go to the ranged version. All right, the ranged answer. So for the ranged answer, you can ask a question such as uh, what food uh, do you like the, or or how much do you like the certain food or, or 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 how much do you like to ride in a car or whatever. And so well, we'll have a slider on this view and then the user can slide it, you know, from the left to the right. Okay, so that's the type of answer uh, that, you know, that this would be or question and answer that, that this would be. All right, and so over in our object library, I'm going to start typing in label, if I could spell, and uh, that's that. And so I'm going to hold option and drag over, and release. Okay, we got two of them now select them both and we're going to hit the embed and stack all right we have the horizontal um uh, axis which is fine uh alignment and distribution um so for the distribution we want this to uh, uh, go to equal spacing all right and so we've got that and then the next thing we want to do is we want to say slider in the object library and drag a slider out uh, right above it and then we want to select our stack view and then we're going to embed this in another stack view so now we've got the vertical axis which is fine alignment distribution uh, that's cool there and I'm going to change the spacing to 20 uh, for this one and um, the last thing we need to do for this one is we need to add a button as well so I'm going to go over here to the document outline I'm going to change this to uh, multiple or not multiple I'm sorry ranged answer stack view hit enter and I'm going to uh, uh, open that up and then um, we want to add a button to it so 
start typing button in the object library. I'm going to drag it over there to the document outline once again uh, for this example. And so I wanted to go uh, on the same hierarchy as the stack view there. All right, you gotta kind of play with, play around with it sometime. All right, no, that didn't. All right, th that didn't work out right. So I'm gonna drag it and I'm gonna try to do it again. So I'm gonna move it around a little bit. Uh, make sure it's on the same level. Ah, come on. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna do it again. Sometimes you gotta do this. All right, there we go. Now it's in there. All right, all right, we have our button. And then now we wanna set the constraints for this one. And so I am going to uh, go to a line, vertical and container, um, and then add the constraints or add that. And then we want to go to our constraints button, change it from safe area to view, zero for leading. Um, same thing on this side uh, to view safe area hit zero again and hit add to constraints and then you got your um, all your blue all right and hit submit answer again for this button buttons title all right and we're good there now the next thing we need to do is we need to add a label to the top because all of the questions are all of these uh, different types obviously they're gonna have a qu different question and so what we want to do is uh, put that up there to the top and we want to change uh, the size to we'll bump this up to let's say 32 and we'll hit done and then for this one as well we want to change the lines from 1 to 0 and then we want to go for, to the line break line right here and select uh, word wrap once again and I'm going to uh, set some constraints for this one. And I'm gonna say, we're gonna say 20 from the top. And then the left and right uh, views will be uh, zero to the view, not the safe area, make sure. All right, and we're gonna hit add constraints. And then we're going to center the label itself, uh, center the text. Okay, so we got that done. And then for our progress view, so our users will know how far they've gotten. Okay, so start typing progress in the object library, bring it down here to the bottom, uh, somewhere in the middle toward the bottom, so you got all the blue, cool. And then for this one, same thing, I'm gonna hit the add constraints button. Um, I'm gonna, oh, sorry, on the view, so zero for the, for the left or for the leading, and then zero for the uh, trailing or the right side, good. And then the bottom, we're just gonna highlight it at the 20 and then we're gonna hit add three constraints. All right, so that is it um, once again for this lesson, guys. This has been St. R. Edwards. Thank you guys for joining me. Stay tuned because we have so much more to go in this lesson. I'm not, I'm not sure when this is gonna end, but I really appreciate you guys sticking around with your boy. All right, so stay tuned for more. Happy coding and you guys take care.